a bag full of yellow cards, bulk of them. Pointed in Munster's direction, but still Munster hold the line. Northampton churning up, now they go right, and then Smith, oh, the defence was up so quickly he didn't feel that the pass was on. And again the defence, it is just monumental. Massive moment. Kilcoyne driving straight, creating a, a sounder platform for Casey, who's back with us, to clear to touch. Doesn't it. Fine touch, however. And Furbank. And then over the ball goes Byrne. Doesn't come back with it instead. Salakaya Lotto. Smith. Oh, beautifully tipped on. It was the work of her Dingwall who kept that ball alive. Salakaya Lotto. Are you leaving it? Eogan, oh, by the time he juggled with the ball. Release! Just Mitchell, every one of those arced probing runs, just keep the ball alive as long as possible. As soon as the defender bites in on him, gets that offload away. Scott Young. What is here? What is here? Alex Moon waits. Here's Haywood. Dozen times now Northampton into the Monster 22 without yet scoring a try. And as much as they'd rather not be in this position, the work of this Dennis Leamy drilled Monster defence is earning its corn right now. I think they're second in the URC for points conceded. So Dennis Leamy's doing a great job in the defence at Munster at the moment. And they're, they're lapping this up, they're loving it. It's very, very easy. I think Northampton need a few more options great on the play. Strip tackle there from Tyke Byrne. Northampton get away with it. Ram off his wing. Space on the edge here, it has to go. Ribbons, and it does go. Oh, nearly. Ram. And the counter ruck, creating a certain amount of um, panic. But Mitchell has it, and now Ludlam. It is ferocious. Hard work for both sides. Smith kicked through uh, Hutchinson chases, but Haley was always the favourite. A little over five minutes to go. Big compliment to the Munster defence there when he's kicking the ball away in a good position like that. You just at ten, the opposition ten obviously feels like there's no nowhere to go. Donahue in to um, offer the protection for the left-footed Casey. Stop. 16, 16. And he finds the seats and listen to the roar from those who travelled multiple defensive feathers in the cap and underneath the cap the man responsible for it the coach the defensive coach the great oh, yeah, Dennis yeah. Leamy well, it's been some effort just taking a second to get some treatment yeah, thank you. helps the rest of the players fill the lungs a couple of players getting medical treatment five minutes to go uh, and uh, finally John Ryan monsters tight head is giving way to uh, yeah. Roman Salanoa. JJ, you've been part of this monster setup. It doesn't really matter whatever yeah, else is going on in the world, whatever else is happening in the problem. URC. You suddenly stick them in the Champions Cup, and they're a different beast. Try and explain that for us as somebody who's been there. It's very difficult to explain. We used to sit down and start every year, and you go through your goals, and sometimes you'd be looking around the room, and every year was winning the European Cup. It didn't matter what happened the year before. And some people from the outside might go, you're a little bit crazy, like you're not having a hope. But there's something about what it does when the balls come out, new balls come out at the start of the week, 
it's a different energy, a different feel about the place. And Munster and European Cup, it's what it's all about. It's what, what the club was built on, really. And it's a very, very special day, always. And does he drive that, Peter O'Mahony? How, how big is his voice in that conversation? Front and foremost, two boys coming off the field right now are the two key drivers of all that kind of stuff. Earl Z, Peter Earls and Peter O'Mahony. They drive it week in, week out. They love European Cup. And they know that the, that the time is running out in terms of opportunities to go along into the competition. Um, and they know a big win like this with the, with the formation after losing to Toulouse. You need two wins and probably a losing bonus point to go through the last 16. So this has been a really, really good performance for Munster, led by them two leaders. OK, thank you. Northampton have changed Angus Hi Scott on. Young for Aaron Hinckley. Yeah. Alex Kendellan coming on for O'Mahony. Shane Daly on for Keith Earls. Five minutes to go. And at the moment... Uh, Northampton's primary objective is um, a losing bonus point. Not scored two tries in um, any time so far, but there's one coming up here, surely Ram. Oh. 75 minutes and still no Northampton tries. They need two in the last five minutes. Well, it's a penalty. Another penalty in this area. Brokers formed. I think. So many. Other referees, URC referees, Premiership referees, they might have said, look, those penalties have ratcheted up again. You're still in the red zone. You're still defending your own line. But it's almost like he's resetting the penalty count, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. It's yeah, been 50 been weeks that. since Northampton last failed to score a try at home here at Franklin's Gardens. I, I don't want to sound like sort of having a go at the referees. Be little at Munster have been superb defensively. Northampton haven't tested them as much as they would have wanted. They haven't had enough variation in their game. But you play the referee, you play what's in front of you. Munster have done that fantastically well, fully deserved to be points up. Looking like they're going to see this game out. Taken by Ludlam, who now roars the odds in the middle of all that Haywood with possession Ty Byrne and his blue cap bobbing around again leading that defensive effort Mitchell running into the red capped Hodnett again that point no Mitchell no quick ball Moon a minute to go on the Carberry yellow so very soon Munster will be back up to a full complement and then a crawling Mike Haywood gives the ball away. It's really difficult for to that situation because you can feel the pressure on your outside, but you know if you cut back in, you lose the support, it's where all the Munster tacklers are going to be. It is difficult when you're coming around the corner, but sometimes it is the case you've got to bar up and face it front on. Well, ben Kay has the job of um, picking the Heineken star of the match and uh, we'll, well come to that decision now. I mean, no surprises where the star of the match is going to come from. The Munster forward pack who've been superb, really muscled up against Northampton under significant pressure in this second half. I think Peter O'Mahony's been absolutely fantastic. It's not going to be Santa. I'm not going to give it to Santa, but Peter O'Mahony's been absolutely superb. But his partner in crime, disrupting the Northampton line at all times. So good around the field, Tyke Burns, our Heineken star of the match. I think he's running out of space, he's mantelpiece at this stage, all the, Heine all the star of the matches he's getting. He's <laughs> named in the World 15 by World Rugby at the end of, um, at the end of November. Kevin. Him and, uh, Kevin him and Sam Whitelock. <laughs> Two minutes to go. Number 10. Cornell Skosen on for Northampton. Finn Smith is coming off, so Furbank uh, trots across to fill in at 10. Time on. Skosen coming onto the bench before the match after Courtney Laws pulled out with, um, with a muscle injury. Baron crashes it up for Munster. Oh, 
Calvin Nash still full of beans. Oh, Nash gathers. What an incredible take that was. If only he could have linked up with Kendellen. And stationary under the ball, always more difficult when Nash is running at full tilt. He can time his takeoff perfectly on the drop of the ball. Skosan does really well to get back, and then it just won't sit up for That's the on-rushing monster, monster, monster support. It's really good to see Calvin Nash coming through as well. A lot of, a lot of um, criticism around Munster on producing backs from home home regions, homegrown regions, and Calvin's been a shining star coming through. He's an incredible player, incredible talent, and he's, he's showing it today again. Well, the ball was meant for Coombs, but um, this time it's Northampton doing a bit of burgling of their own in the air. 20 seconds to go. It's not Saints lacking for effort, but it's just been the application of Munster at both ends of the pitch. And the determination to slow Northampton's ball down. And they're nearly there. What is he on? Looks like we're going to end the, uh, the second half scoreless. The match will have been decided by all of the points and the tries scored in the first half. Those tries, both of them from Gavin Coombs. Salakai Lotto has lost it forwards. Munster can end it right now if they want, or they might end it on a high. Scannell chasing, ball beats him. It matters not. Another. Sleeves rolled up, socks rolled down. Munster performance in Europe. This team in this competition taking their game to another level this season and on a cold cold day in the English East Midlands they kept us all warm with their effort today heroic in defense at times and in the end those two Coombs tries in the first half much too much for Northampton who were disappointing today and have now lost their first two in this season's Champions Cup Final score at the Gardens, Northampton 6, a majestic monster 17.